When we think of Skynet, we think of a supercomputer or a big building with, you know, where it is based. And yeah, it had big buildings and factories to send in raw materials and then machines come out the other side, aerial units, ground units. It's the methodicalness of how it attempted to terminate the planet. It terminated 94% of the planet and then had to faff around with 6%. And those 6% the resistance. Skynet's pain in the bum. Grid referencing the whole planet and then methodically going across battlefields, sending over relevant tactical units or launching attacks, whether it be aerial or ground units, going through sewerage, hunting. It would, while exterminating, it would also capture humans. They were captured not as prisoners of war because Remember, Skynet had no mercy, no morals, nothing. It abided by no rules. It did as it willed to achieve what it needed to achieve. That was Skynet, the epitome of evil. Yeah, I did a video earlier asking, is a Terminator evil? No, its actions are considered evil by humans, but it is not evil. Anyway, it will capture humans, experiment on them, and experiment in every inch of the body. So one person would be experimented in the arms, the other one in the body, another one on the legs, every section, checking out every area for the most advanced way to exterminate the human race. As simple as that. No other mission other than to exterminate the human race spread across the globe like a cancer yeah or a virus spread across the globe as it moved forward it built more bases so it could then capture the raw materials of the destroyed buildings the metals and all the ores and everything so as it moved forward through certain areas skynet would then build in that area, advanced units in that area, so we weren't sending them from one place and keep moving forward, spreading wider, covering the planet. Its next mission, believe it or not, would be then to tech on the solar system and then tech on past the solar system. It was able to learn, learn, experiment, learn, experiment from that laddering. Theoretical sciences no longer became theoretical. They were in the concept form or actually being achieved. Quantum mechanics and sciences were all brought to the forefront because it could learn at such a rate. Hence why it ended up with time travel. It wasn't the resistance. It was Skynet that achieved time travel. So something that can achieve something like that is not going to struggle taking over the solar system but first it had to wipe out the six percent of humans that are now its enemy so skynet as much as we say skynet we have to think what it really is it's a super super computer that has all the characteristics of being capable of coming across as a human being hence with a termination unit there it's slaves i'd say yeah but it's got all the capabilities of acting like a human but also spreading like a virus that is what skynet technically is there is a a link that i'll put in the description below that you can go to and read up every fine detail of how skynet achieved what it achieved um but how the 6% of survivors were Skynet's pain in the bum and the ones that, as the stories are told, win in the um, war against the machines. Anyway, that's just a little bit about Skynet. This is Upside Down 6. Peace out.